Now the sound was coming from the side of the house. A few moments later, it came from the rooftop. Before long, the ceiling began to give way. The three remaining teens hurtled over each other, trying to leave the room. The hideous abomination finally broke through. Now that it was inside the house, everyone left as quickly as possible. They raced over to a neighbor's house, almost ramming into the door. They screamed at the top of their lungs, pleading for someone to help them. At a closer glance, all the windows were barred. It was the same across every single house but their own. But why? Suddenly, the beast swooped down and picked up another youngster, soaring right into the air and disappearing. The last two teens darted off into the darkness. They were so desperate to get away, they had looked for the nearest car to steal. But no matter how far they scampered away, there were no cars in sight. Where did everyone go? They said to themselves. Just when they had hoped that the demon was gone, a body fell on top of them. It was the body that the beast had taken up into the sky earlier. The corpse had its throat torn open. 